Hey, everybody. How you doing? What's going on? Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to share this to a couple of different places. What's going on? It's your girl, Paulette. And we are in the building. Come say hi, KJ. Why, why, why does he do this? Why, why, oh, God. Okay, bye. Can he not? Hi, y'all done. Hey, how are you doing? All right, so guys, guess what? We are actually live in... Yeah, so... <laughs> It's not allowing me to share. Hang on. We're going to figure this out, y'all. Because I really want to share this with some other people. There it is. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and share this to a couple more spots. And then um, we are going to uh, start talking about what we did for the Sunday brunch. And y'all see I got my granddaughter's sunglasses on top of my head. I, I don't have good sense. So this is what's for brunch, y'all. Come on in and let us begin because we have a lot of stuff we want to talk about today in terms of um, just, you know, my son, he's so extra. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, let's turn it this way. All right. So today we did something a little different. Um, we kind of did dinner brunch slash lunch slash all over the place. But really at the end of the day, what it is, is we are just grabbing what's in the refrigerator and we are making it work. Okay. So right now, what we're doing is, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So what we're doing today is we are going to be talking about, um, Let's see. What's for brunch? <laughs> so what we did today was really, really, really simple. Well, maybe not. Maybe not for some people. But y'all, I'm already sipping on my what? Brunch punch. How about that? Mm. So the brunch punch is super simple. We didn't do anything uh, too hard. All we did was we added a couple of different flavors to... Um, a calorie free mix and it wasn't because I was trying to do a calorie free mix it was just because that's what was in the refrigerator I'm sorry in the cupboard so it was a mixture of hang on hang on berry pomegranate and strawberry watermelon that's what we used today um, and those were fruit drinks and then we added slices of lemon to it so that was pretty cool real easy to do um, and then we went on ahead and mixed it up and put it in the refrigerator for a little bit while. So while we were cooking, we could go ahead and, um, get that chill effect. Now let's talk about KJ's going to go through and he's going to give y'all all the food. Okay. And, uh, we're going to, we're going to keep it moving. So let's start with, first of all, he is aiming at, he is aiming at the lettuce and tomatoes, but also, if you notice here, we have this pretty cool mix. Um, and let me tell you what this is. And I want to share this with you guys, what it is. This is a spinach cream cheese um, onion dip mix. Really super simple to make. And um, this is what you can add as like an appetizer to your um, brunch. So let's say, for instance, you, you, so you see, we've got all this toasted brioche right here, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a knife and I am going to place, I actually have a, a, a knife knife, like, and we're going to spread some of that onto the brioche, the toasted brioche. So we have a toasted brioche right here with the cream cheese mixture. Okay, and I told you it's really, really easy to make. See how smooth it is? You just put it right on there, put that right in there. I'm going to go ahead and, again, let me tell you what the recipe is. The recipe for this is super simple. This is softened cream cheese. Softened cream cheese, that's all it is. Spinach, frozen spinach, drained. Okay, so I've got the bag. Great value. I have no shame. None. 
None, 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 none. Okay. And um, I put onion soup mix in it. I'm sorry. Onion soup mix kind of makes everything cool. So here's what I'm going to do. Hey, Jay. Hey. Take a piece of this and let's go ahead. And taste. And taste. Come mm -hmm. around. So we're, we're going to taste this. We're going to taste this. Oh, he's so excited. He got his own piece of bread. I, you know mm -hmm. what? Okay, go ahead. Just a little bit. And this is your dip. This can also be like your appetizer. Okay? So he's... Oh. Come on. What are you doing? So, y'all, this is my son, KJ in the Hall. Um, you ever seen some of his videos? If you have not, go to KJ in the Hall on Facebook. You can check it out. And uh, I don't know who the mama is on Facebook, so go ahead and taste that for me. This is toasted brioche. It's been toasted with butter. How does it taste? So, again, we're talking. This is, y'all, this is super, super simple. It's really easy. Again, it is, let's talk about it, cream cheese, onion soup mix, and spinach, frozen spinach that has been thawed and drained. That's it. You heat it up just a little bit so that you can stir everything together. And you can either chill this or leave it out at room temperature, whichever one works for you. You can lay your crackers around it or whatever you're going to do. Really simple. I'm going to be sharing this recipe with you guys later because the cookbook is coming. And, and I'll put this in there as well. So what do you think? Good? It's five. Five? He says it's five. So because of that, I'm taking his word for it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's good. It's, I'm dancing. He's dancing. I can't. So that's done. So the next thing that we did was to keep it really simple, because we're going to talk about the brownstone burger in just a minute, was we did these pumpkin bites. Pumpkin bites. Look at that. These are really cute. Y'all, I can make these if I want to. How about I don't have time? We have so much other stuff that's going on right now that... I found these on sale in the baker's area at Walmart. Super simple. All I had to do was just purchase them, put them in my basket, and KJ, let's do the taste test. Mm -hmm. He's so silly. Mm -hmm. I can't with him. I can't. And all it is, and if you want to make these at home, you can actually just buy or just make your own little bowls out of your your homemade um crust or you can purchase the crust already to make it easy and make your own with sweet potato or with pumpkin with with whatever seasonings and then do the dollop of whipped cream on top it's completely up to you so yeah these are really simple to make and again what i will do is i will share not only the photos online because you know, displaying your food is also important as well because it makes it just as appetizing. And that's important too. So uh, it's fine. So now let's talk about the brownstone, brownstone burger sauce because we're going to be making sliders today. Okay. Then I'm going to ice this cake and we're going to talk. So KJ, we have, if you can go ahead and share that with them. So we have right here our... Um, brownstone burger sauce. So let me tell you what's in here. It's bacon, thick cut bacon. And we also have onions and mushrooms. Once this is cooking and the onions have started to sweat, the mushrooms have started to sweat first, of course, you want to put your bacon in first and kind of get a little oil on the bottom of that bacon fat in there. And then put your onions and your mushrooms in there, let it sweat. And then you're going to add a half a cup of brown sugar. That's it. That's all you want to do is just a half a cup of brown sugar. Now, here's the cool part. When you are building your burgers, now, you can choose any burgers that you want. So these are, we've been keeping these warm in the oven, but we baked these. These are cheddar burgers, right? But you can use any kind of burger that you want. There's no, hey, to those who are watching, so you don't have to be specific, like, what kind of burger you can do. Sauce it. I'm sorry. My, what are you doing? My fault. Huh? He's so ready to eat, y'all. Okay, so all you have to do is use any kind of burger that you want. Even if you hand pat them or whatever, use 100% ground beef. But we are actually using um, 
bratwurst cheddar burgers, okay, for additional kick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my burger the way that I want, and we're going to make KJ taste it. How about that? Okay, so if you can go ahead, KJ, and we're going to take, so is this a top or is this a bottom? Okay, so we have the top of the bun, and then we also have the bottom. Okay, so we have our top and a bottom right there, right? And so we're going to, and again, guys, these are brioche buns, small little sliders. And then we toasted those after we dipped them in butter. KJ dipped these in butter. I told him to brush them. He was like, no, I'm just going to dip these directly into the butter. Yeah, dip them in butter. And then we take a half of a burger, just a half. You don't need a whole lot. There you go. You see that? Really, really easy. And then all you do is you take some of your brownstone burger sauce. And you put some of that brownstone burger sauce right on top. So you got boom, boom, boom. There you go. Oops. Okay. And once you have your brownstone burger sauce on there, all you got to do is take some of your some of your. Because, see, with this, honey, you don't even need ketchup. You really don't. You really don't. You put some of that spinach cream cheese dip on there. And KJ does not like tomatoes and lettuce or mm -hmm. onions. So, like what we're going to do, this is it. This is your slider. That's it. There's your slider. Really, really simple. You don't need to do a lot. Again, KJ, be my guest. Come, yeah. taste. Be my taste tester today while I wipe my hands. Where's my towel? I can never find my towel, like ever. Tell me what you taste. I can't with him. So evidently it must be good. It's good? Okay, so once again, we use the Johnsonville Cheddar Burgers. Grease boy, here, hold the plate. And then we toasted in butter um, a brioche bun, both sides, of course, and uh, toasted that. So that becomes the base of your sandwich. And then, of course, we have our brownstone burger sauce. That is mushroom, thick cut bacon, onions, and brown sugar. You cook that to absolute candy-like perfection. So you get that salty, sweet, creamy, crunchy from the bacon kind of vibe on it. And then you put the um, dip on it, the dip here that we talked about. And all of these recipes I'm going to be putting in the first ever Brownstone Living Cookbook. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So um, there you have it. But right now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to ice this cake. And I figured that while I have you all here, Let's go ahead and ice a dang old cake. Because why not? Because why? Right? So this was a part of what we had planned for. And come on, y'all. Let's let's talk about this real quick. Can they see that right now? Yeah, they can see that. So let's talk about that. Ooh, yes, honey. Look at that. So let's talk about the fact that sometimes you don't have time, right? And you want your family to have something really good. And he is, he is throwing down, y'all. I want y'all to know it's all, the sandwich is already gone. So, <clears throat> so I got a phone call in the middle of doing this. And so um, let me text her back and say, I'm on, I'm, I'm live. So, yeah, you know why she does that. Um, because she doesn't know that I'm live. Um, so anyway, there you go. Um, so here we go. Here, here's the thing. All you got to do is purchase a box cake. Listen here. There is nothing wrong with using a box cake. I don't have any problem with it. And the reason why is because I could, but I'm not because I have stuff to do and this makes it easy. All I have to do is preheat my oven and I actually purchase all of my ingredients and have everything laid out, y'all. 
So first of all, let me pause and let me talk about this really quick. Once again, this is your girl Paulette from the Sunday Brunch and also from um, What's For Brunch. The Sunday Brunch is the morning, the Sunday morning jazz and gospel show that comes on. It's not really morning unless, of course, you're listening to some of the replays, but we come on during the day on Sundays and you get a mashup of jazz and gospel. You get an opportunity to listen to me. We talk about what's for brunch. We talk about ways to help you rise and shine for your life for the week. And KJ is making fun of me right now because that is our mantra at the Sunday brunch. So um, during that, we came up with this idea, hey, you know what? We always kind of pretended what was for brunch, but why don't we just go ahead and just do it? So, hey, y'all, hey, y'all. So um, what we ended up doing was just making the show a part of it. So guess what started happening? And I want to kind of put you guys up on a little something that we've been doing. So um, we, we started doing additional things. So we brought KCCR back, KCCR Radio. That is exciting. And so that is myself, that is um, Cullen, that is Lamont, that is DiCarlo. Those are all of the people that are part of um, KCCR Radio. And we're actually in the final stages of um, putting everything together for you guys. So by the beginning of the year, you'll be ready to hear the Sunday Brunch and all of the other shows like Cullen's Corner and stuff like that when it returns. So we thought that in the meantime, why don't we just, he's already making another sandwich and I, I he thinks I can't see. Hey, <laughs> hey, darling, how are you? That's my sister, y'all. Hey, y'all. So um, anyway, um, what we're doing right now is we're getting ready to ice a cake. And, and one of the things that I've learned while I was growing up was, is if it was easy, if it was easy to do, then everybody would be doing it. But one of the things that I really like is spending the time in the kitchen with the kids. And so we made it a part of the show. So that was pretty cool. Here's what I want you guys to do. Go ahead and like, comment, share. Go ahead and share the Sunday brunch with people so they'll know where to find me and all of the recipes as they come down the pipe. But here's something that we started doing along with the Sunday brunch. And this was just a fluke, y'all. It was just something to do. And, and so we, we started doing the, the what's for brunch. Then we got so much inventory from our eBay store. We decided to open up a small store that is open on Saturdays and Sundays. We have a small building at a local flea market and it's called Brownstone Essentials. And so basically you can get housewares, you can get your towels, you can get your home decor, all of that stuff on the inside and it is branded with brownstone living and essentials which i think is so cool and then we also ended up doing my brownstone living so to all of the people that have purchased um y'all we sold so many brownstone living face towels yesterday it blew my mind face towels couldn't believe it couldn't believe it i i was i was flabbergasted so yes we have a physical store and then we also have my brownstone living.com and that is where you can also purchase those items that we have in the store. You can purchase them online as well. So if you're not in the Atlanta, Georgia area, um, you can definitely order those and then we can um, send that to you. So that's pretty cool too. So um, we're icing the cake. So come on, KJ. Let's go ahead and rock out. Yes, so KJ, come here. Yes, ma'am. And, and say hello to the people. I want you to put that down. Here you go. He's my cameraman, y'all. So say hello to everybody. I He's officially taller than me. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I don't I don't know when it happened, but yeah, he's he's getting there. Um so okay, so we're getting ready to ice the cake. So I want to use two different kinds of icing. And y'all, please don't, don't, don't do me. Because first of all, most of y'all not baking cakes. How about that? I could do a home baked recipe, which I probably will in the future, but I just don't have time because we gotta get to the store. We got some pictures that we gotta take. So um, I'm going to be carrying you guys on our journey on how that's going to work out. So I have uh, cream cheese cream and cheese. I also, yeah, I have cream cheese icing and I also have um, chocolate icing, which is fine. We can, we can definitely do that. So um, KJ, he's eating the burger again. He's eating, he's eating the burger. He's supposed Sorry. to be uh, paying attention to what I'm doing so that we can get, and we can talk about what's over here, bro. Can you, can you just like, yes, there you go. Hey, right yeah, they can see that right there. Can you leave? Yes, there you go. Boom. So all I'm going to do, this is real simple, y'all. I take it out right here. Yes, 
I like mine good and thick and pretty. Cause I, okay, so here's true story. True story is, is I remember years ago when I was a kid, there was this commercial of this woman who was making um, a cake. She baked a cake and she was dressed all pretty in her little white honey. And um, she had, she cut a piece of paper into the shape of a knife and she iced an entire cake with this paper knife. And I have never forgotten that particular um, commercial, which I thought, okay, well, I'll try anything once. So how about it never worked for me? But I always wanted to ice cakes after that. But I found out that most people that ice cakes at a local grocers and stuff like that, they don't, they don't clock no dollars. So I had to go to college. <laughs> That's all I got. I had to go to school because it was pretty and she was all sexy and everything and, you know, just doing her thing. And she was icing like this, y'all. And the music was playing and it was all sexy and it was like this. Huh. It was. And I thought, wow, she is really making that look amazing. But really what it was, really what it was, was a way for us to buy the icing. Okay. Because people were still kind of making icing themselves you know, at home and they were just trying to make it easy for people to, to, to purchase their products. Okay. Okay. So I have like an even layer here of this icing and I hate, I hate that, you know, we can't, you know, get all that icing on there, but I like a thick inner lining of if I'm doing a double layer, cause that's what this is. I want to put all the icing in there, right? all the icing in there because then it makes the cake more fun and here's something else folks when you're baking a cake I don't care if it's yours or if it's store-bought or whatever and you're baking the cake please make sure before you ice it that you make sure that your um, cake is cooled because if not your icing will melt your icing will melt and also make sure that your icing is room temperature whether you make it yourself or not because otherwise if it's not and it's cooled, you'll also tear your delicate cake and you don't want to do that either. Okay, so now that I have all of that done and I've got all of this completed, I want to take the other half of the cake. So if you notice, let me, let me share something with you. When you first do your cake, if you want that flat bottom, turn your cake upside down. So when you take it out of the pan, turn it upside down and ice the flat surface and lay that on your plate before you put the top on. Then you want to ice the top, okay? And there you go. That's it. In a nutshell, cake done. Okay? Now, if you notice, depending on where you live, so evidently my stove is not that level, but who cares, right? Because it's going to get eaten anyway. My kids go through cake like people go through um, oxygen in a day. So you notice I'm taking the cream cheese and I'm putting it on the outside of the cake. How cool is that? Yes. Okay, so. And they see it right now. I don't know. Here, yes, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so we're doing it like this, okay. Uh, yes, there we go. So we're icing the cake. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And here we go. We're gonna start icing it. And all I'm doing is I'm going to start smoothing it out and pushing the icing to the sides. Really, really simple, y'all. This ain't hard. This ain't rocket science. And then you're going to start turning your plate. Now, some people, you know, they fancy and stuff. They buy their little plates and everything. Listen here. Use what you have until you can do better. And I just start going around the cake. Really, really simple. I go around the cake and down so I can start getting those sides. Some people actually, like, from the cake first, which is kind of what I'm doing here on the sides. And that's to kind of get rid of those crumbs. And that's fine if you fancy like that. This cake will be gone in a day. Am I right, KJ? Under 24 hours. <laughs> Under 24 hours. So I want it to look nice. And you know, streaks of the chocolate kind of have made it through. And that's okay too, because it's a family cake, right? And we are, we are going to devour this cake in record time. It's, it's going to be gone. I'm going to come downstairs tomorrow when I get ready to go 
in the morning and it's gonna already be gone or at least half of it right because my family really does enjoy so all we're doing is we're pushing down and we're gonna we're covering the sides along the way here oh yes honey real easy this is not hard at all and again i'm still starting the covering process then if you have something like this and you want an extra thick coating use two containers of the um, icing it's okay it's okay you do what you want to do in your house you have your house this is your house well my house well you know what i'm saying right <laughs> You do what you want to do. So if you want to do that, cause, and here's something I can't stand. I can't stand going to other people's uh, pages and people go live with their cooking recipes or whatever, and they get to tell it, well, that's the wrong way. To, how do you know? First of all, pull that up. How do you know what's right or wrong for some folks? That is none of your business what people do in their house. I don't understand that. I don't understand that concept. I don't get it. I absolutely don't. That confuses me to no end. We, we sit up and we judge people about how they cook stuff. Well, how about you go live on your page and you do what you want to do? So there you go. All right. So we're going back. <laughs> and we're going to finish up icing the cake so we can take our final pictures here. All right. Now, I'm not done because we still have more icing to go on. I'm just making a mess on my hands and stuff, y'all. This is a mess. There we go. And boom. And we've got all the icing. Yes. And all we're going to do, if you want to get fancy, you can create those little peaks and stuff like that. But listen, like I said, this cake is going to be gone so fast. All of the extra fancy stuff. I mean, I try. I try. I try to make it nice and fancy and cute and everything. But my kids go through... Uh, snacks and stuff like that so fast that you do don't, don't play don't you do you, you do don't mm -mm. you do come downstairs and they call themselves be sneaking <laughs> and i can hear you all you think i can't hear you when you come downstairs i hear you <laughs> but that's what i make it for okay um it's, it's for the kids and for the grandbaby so that they can have something that Mimi made or mother made, that kind of thing. So all I'm doing is just finishing up. And it doesn't, again, folks, come on. You can you can do the little peaks if you want to. It's completely up to you. And we're done. Okay? Now. All right. Oh, okay, so I'm going to wash these old hands. Done with that, huh? So, <laughs> so KJ wants to do. So I bought this little thing. Hold it up, KJ. So I bought this, and be careful because it'll, it'll. So he wants to decorate the top. I personally, I, I you know, okay. So we'll go. I can't with you. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you what? You what? So, uh. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to write uh, Sunday brunch on it. You're going to write Sunday brunch on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you can do that, KJ. Um, but I want to kind of clean up the plate a little bit so when we get ready to take photos. And guys, we're taking photos. We take photos of our food. One of the things that I do is I cook to take pictures of stuff. Because I cook to is as therapy. And some people can relate to that. And some people can't, and, and it's all good if you can't. That's cool, you know. But some people don't understand why a lot of people like to cook. I like to cook because it has, like, a creative bell to it. And, and it makes me feel better when when I'm doing stuff, especially if I... So we, we're going to try this, okay? So this is cupcake icing. It includes the star tip. I have never used this before. Why are you... Would you stand up straight? Thank you. Okay, so 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 look at. Okay, you ready? So let's see how it does. And and I, I can't say that I'm gonna do it. How are you gonna? Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. It's not gonna do right. Oh my god. Okay, so it's warm. It's warm. 
Okay, and can they see that right now? All right, yes, they can see that. They can see me. I'm needing it, and and it's it's right there at the tip. And I've seen Imani do this with her. So okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh gosh. Oh, it's not even coming out. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Wait a minute. Um, my arthritis is acting up. Lord have mercy. Well, I'm playing y'all. No I know. I know. I'm just. I'm goofing off y'all. <laughs> so this sucker is pretty. Oh my. I don't know if I like this. Hold up. It's coming out, but it's it's taking a sweet little old time. There it is. Okay. Right. So we're gonna try it again. And I'm not. It's you can't write with this. You're better off just using. Mother, do you need me to try, baby? <laughs> Shut up. I'm not good. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. We are going to put our cake. No, we're done. We're done. We'll, we'll practice another time. So these are plant stands that are actually available at the Brownstone, um, in my Brownstone living. And um, they make nice displays. Okay. <laughs> so I have placed our cake on a nice stand okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put that here go ahead and show that all right zoom in yes look at all that beautiful brown bean footage praise the Lord hallelujah saints oh my god so he's eating yes okay there you go all right and so we are done. This is it. This is the Sunday brunch. This is what we do. <laughs> Let me stop. This is what we do in the brown stove, baby. I'm, I'm so kidding. So um, once again, um, we have our pumpkin bites right here with the whipped cream. And KJ, if you can kind of zoom mm -hmm. in and show them the pumpkin bites here. And then we also have the brownstone burger sauce that is homemade. I've given you guys the recipe, but of course I will provide it again. We also have our uh, cheddar burgers that have been cut in half because we have brioche slider buns that have been toasted to perfection on either side. We have, hallelujah, we have our cream cheese spinach uh, onion dip right here. And then we also have our brunch punch, which was a mush up of lemons. And we have pomegranate juice and watermelon and strawberry juice here. And then of course we have our chocolate uh, cake with the cream cheese icing and in, in this is a double layer cake so on the inside of the cake there's also chocolate icing so there you have it um, we are done we um, will be back and we are on our way to the store so this week what we're gonna be doing you'll notice is we're gonna start sharing a little bit more of the journey because um, this is a challenge and from a creative perspective this is really cool because one it allows me to have a different place for uh, my creative outlet. But then also, um, it allows my kids to learn something about business, and that's super important to me. So KJ, you've learned a lot over the last couple of weeks, have you not? Mm -hmm. We learned to, come on, let's <laughs> talk about it really quick. <laughs> okay, while I make myself a burger. So we learned, we learned, what did we learn? Uh, we learned like how to organize, we learned inventory, sourcing, Okay, and what's sourcing? Uh, so sourcing is basically when you go out and buy stuff, right? Yes. <laughs> you, go so, some, you go out and buy some product. You go and you get your product. But what's the first thing that you do when you get your product? Uh, you inventory. No, before, before you get your product, what do you have to do? You have to find out what the market is looking for, right? Right. So what, what do we do first? We, we go and we do some research and the internet makes it super easy. Y'all, it makes it so easy for you to source that. I'm, I'm sorry to research that information. Cause you can, you can Google that and find out what's trending. You can do all kinds of stuff and uh, find out exactly what's currently available. Um, that is selling really well. And then you can make a better decision on what you are going to be purchasing. Um, if that's your thing, right? Cause you don't want to waste a bunch of money on some stuff that's not going to sell. Okay. So a lot of people say, well, um, gosh, I was getting ready to sound like I was teaching in one of my classes. <laughs> so, um, a lot of people say, well, Miss Paulette, I, I, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, honey. 
Um, there are so many different ways, and I'm going to be sharing a couple of those. KJ, you want to slice a cake? Yes, okay, give, give a <laughs> cake knife, um, and, and I'll get you a slice of cake. So, um, there are so many different ways that you can make stuff happen for yourself. Um, and we'll, we'll be talking about that. I don't want to do that right now because pretty soon we're going to be going down. We're going to take our camera and we're going to be taking a picture of some of the items so we can start sharing that information with you guys. But I want to, I want to start sharing some of the stuff that we got going on because this is kind of cool y'all. And, and I, oh, so he's got the wrong knife. This is not for cutting cake. Okay. I wish I had like a wah wah wah. <laughs> Cause like dun, 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 dun. okay. So let's just eat the regular we'll just here. That this. Okay. So we're we're gonna cut the cake and, and get KJ to, to taste it. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all something that I did do. What I did do was what am I going to do with this for? What, what am I going to do with it? All right, so we're going to cut the cake and um, allow him to taste that before we get ready to go because we got to put some clothes on and get down to the store. <coughs> so what we've done is is we've kind of... Oh, chat. Listen, 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 Linda, honey. Get you a fork, honey. That is so pretty. Look at that. I'm going to share with you guys what I do to make that cake super fluffy too. Because even though it says add water, you can do what you want to. It's your cake. You don't buy it. It's yours. You can do whatever you want to. It's, it, you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all you, boo. It's all you. So um, we provide so much um, information. So what else? What else? While you're eating, what else have we learned? So once you've trended, once you figured out what's trending, what else do you do? Uh, you go out and uh, you, you inventory, right? You find, <laughs> no, we have to go get the product. Right. So once you once you find out what's trending, then you have to go find the product. Right. Then once you find the product that you have it sent to you, we have to go pick it up. And sometimes we have to get trucks. And we, we've had to do that. Let's go get trucks and go get our pallets. And then we have to break out the pallets, which we learned how to do. We do that in the garage, correct? Right. We have to move everything out of the way, do everything in the garage. And everybody in the family, including my four-year-old granddaughter, goes out and, and she helps um, to break everything out. And then once we do that, we decide what's gonna go online, what's gonna go in the store, what's gonna go both places, and what's going to go at mybrownstoneliving.com. Because when I say online, we also use eBay and we also use Macari. And so once we do that, then we go to the store and um, we, we brand our items, okay? Because that's important. We're just like every other store. We, we brand our stuff with My Brownstone Living. We have our, our, our branded items and you can tell what's ours and what's not uh, based on the twine, based on the tags, stuff like that. And then um, we sell our items and then we re-up. So every, every day we're constantly looking for different ways to bring new brownstone living items to people like home decor. And, and oh, I can't. Okay. So taste, taste the cake, taste the damn cake, boy. <laughs> taste the cake. <laughs> He's so silly. Come on. So we added something different to the cake. Whip it up, whip it up. So rather than use water, I always like to use heavy cream. And I always like to use a, an additional egg and not just any egg, the egg white only. So if it says, if it calls for three eggs, I use one egg white. Okay. So I'll use three eggs and one egg white and that's it. Okay. And if it calls for vegetable oil, honey, of course I use real butter, grass fed. Hello. That makes it the bomb. Oh my God. The cake is almost gone. Jesus. All right. So <laughs> we'll be back. Um, I'll be posting some pictures of some of the recipes that we did today. I hope you enjoyed this. We are going to um, go and get y'all. Please go check out KJ in the hall on, on Facebook and YouTube on Facebook. I don't know who the mother is that he keeps posting on these things. Cause it's not me. Um, but okay. And, and, uh, the cake is almost gone. YouTube as well. He's on YouTube too. He wants everyone to know that. <laughs> okay. So check this out. Um, once the, uh, radio show is done rendering, you guys know what I like to always do. I'll go ahead and post the radio show for you guys to listen to. 
a little bit later today so you can enjoy that as well and it's jazz and gospel you can go ahead and like comment and share this page enjoy the photos again i am excited 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 because the first cookbook is coming and um i'm a little nervous too but um it's always good to move on to the next phase and the next challenge so it's your girl paulette that's mr kj from kj in the hall and we're getting ready to go to our store you guys enjoy the rest of your day i have enjoyed talking with you guys don't forget to do what kj rise, rise and shine for your, your life. life i can't with him he, right. he wears me out we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> log on bye y'all